Hello all you drama fiends out there rejoice because we have a little bit of drama going on in the RuneScape community. It's your boy Oak Dice here to give you guys the scoop. Drama queen of the RuneScape community is here to give you guys the rundown of what occurred. Now we do have a high profile YouTuber involved. I know who it is but I'm going to keep them blurred. I'm not trying to catch any beefs myself. But what basically happened is this YouTuber was in the wilderness. Who knows what they were doing, right? They could have just been chilling, fighting, maybe making a, a RuneScape video. It is 2022. They could have also been making some TikToks. Who knows? But the point is they were doing their thing. And that is when a hooligan decided to step foot in the same premises as this YouTuber, right? This hooligan decided to now start breeding the same air that this YouTuber was breeding. And you know, it's a famous YouTuber. I would have assumed that this hooligan maybe would have wanted a couple of pictures like, hey man, I love your stuff. Yo, can we can we post for the gram, right? That is not what occurred, guys. That's not what occurred. This YouTuber, uh, not YouTuber, this hooligan then proceeds to start giving this YouTuber the case of the absolute beats, right? It, it must have been 2005 the way that this hooligan was handing out these beats by Dre. He might as well have called this hooligan Ryu the way that he was handing out these haymakers, electric fist, tiger knees, and falcon punches, guys. He was literally giving this YouTuber the buy two punch, get one free, okay? Anyway, this whole drama comes from the reaction this youtuber gave the hooligan because allegedly after this whole situation went down the youtuber said this and that's what happened not only two of the pko's accounts were banned but six of their accounts or six accounts total were banned in relation to this situation allegedly i'm kind of doubtful that this is true because we only have one side of the story and with anything in life when you have one side of the story it's always going to be biased and skewed but let's say just for the sake of this video real quick then we're going to get into the details and the stuff i find fishy let's just say all of this was true that's the biggest bullshit ever right if youtubers are getting people banned in the wilderness for attacking them that's absolute garbage i don't even believe ragging should be a bannable offense in the wilderness if you don't want to get attacked please make your way to weenie hut jr okay i listen i've been through this as well when i went into the wilderness they were using scout bots to hunt me down trying to extort me i was crying i cried i cried i was crying i was crying like please guys please i just i just want to trade my prayer can you stop hurting me can you stop attacking me they were laughing at me and you know what that's just what it is bro it's the wilderness so if you let, let's say this whole story is true if you are a youtuber and now you can pick and choose who can attack you we might as well have consent laws in the wilderness where to attack someone you have to consent to it like the victim has to be like sure buddy you can attack me at this point right now let's get into the details because th some stuff is fishy right so let's let's get into basically the the knit and grit so we get to the ban evidence and so far this looks correct to me i know it says bug abuse but that's typically what happens when they manually ban you for harassment i haven't i've had an account banned and the reason is completely different from what is said in in the review okay so i don't believe this is photoshop this guy was obviously banned for harassing someone which is in the rules now we get to the picture the the pk showed of the loot he got from killing the youtuber all right so yeah he this person did in fact kill the youtuber now this is where stuff gets fishy only one piece of text or line of text was showed in the chat log when you're dropping stuff like this you got to show the whole chat logs you can't just show what the youtuber responded to right like listen man how many gamer words were dropped how many slurs were said i'm just joking i'm just joking but like if you don't show the whole chat log it does look like you're hiding something obviously now no matter what was said well it depends right if slurs were dropped as a jmod i would just permute the guy or mute the guy i wouldn't ban a person which is probably why i'm not a jmod but i'm just if this situation is remotely true to what happened i can't see a situation which warrants a ban if you say some mean things to a player and kill them in the wilderness i don't i don't see that as a ban now, i know harassment is like you're targeting someone over and over again, making their life hell. But in that case, you just leave the wilderness, right? How can you have a law where you can attack everyone? But if you harass, if you continually attack someone and make their life hell, you, you get banned? Like, what? Like just don't go to the wilderness. I don't know. Maybe that's just a bad take, but I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to think. And I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, There's a lot of context. Context matters, right? Like there was a situation where someone's family member died and I, I believe a clan was making fun of them and spamming their Facebook and game. I believe, okay, that warrants a ban in my opinion. That's really messed up. But in this situation, I'm, 
I'm doubtful that something that extreme happened. But then again, I could be wrong. Again, we have one story. The chat log seems to not be fully transparent here. Um, this is posted on Reddit, so Jmod might respond and give us what exactly happened. In that case, I'll make part two. But some people might be wondering, okay, why are you making a video if you only, if we only have one side? And my answer to that is I am poor as hell. I need money, guys. Guys, I'm very, very poor right now. I'm 